Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate table level exports and imports using the integration between SQLCL and DataPump. In a previous video, we covered schema level exports and imports. At that time, table level exports and imports were not possible using SQLCL. With the release of SQLCL version 22.1, we can now perform table level operations. This video will skip some of the usage details as those are covered in the previous video. We connect to a privileged user. We create a directory called tempdir, pointing to the slash temp directory on the database server. We grant read write on this directory to our test user. Then we connect to the test user so we're ready to start. We use the user objects view to check the objects owned by our test user. We can see the depth and emp tables along with their respective primary key indexes. We use the data pump export command to export the emp table. This looks similar to a schema export we saw in the previous video, but now we include the name list argument. The argument value is made up of the object type, table, and a comma separated list of object names, in this case just the emp table. We'll see an example later where we list more than one object type. From the output we can see only the emp table was exported. We drop the emp table before we import it. We use the data pump import command to import the emp table. Once again, this looks similar to the schema export command with the addition of the name list argument. This export dump file only contains the emp table, so we don't really need to include the name list argument here. But if the dump file contained many objects, the name list argument would limit the import. As expected, only the emp table is imported. We query the emp table and we see the table is present along with all the data. The name list argument can include multiple object types and objects. In this example, we export the emp and depth tables as a comma separated list. We have a semicolon delimiter, then have two procedures listed as a comma separated list. These procedures don't exist, but this example shows this syntax variation. The output shows both tables were exported and we're told the two procedures were not because they weren't found. SQLCL version 22.1 comes with other ways to include or exclude objects during data pump operations, but the name list argument seems the simplest and most convenient to me. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.